Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. Today, we're going to have a little touch of whimsy. Maybe you've seen it, the tiny bouquet challenge. Look very closely right here, an itty bitty tiny bouquet. To be done well, it needs to be able to stand on its own. It needs all the elements and principles, and it needs to be done in the classic spiral technique. Today, I'll show you how. As you choose your materials, think about colors and textures, and then think about scale. You may love a ranuncula, too big, but a ranuncula bud, absolutely perfect. A bachelor button bud, even one that's not open, gives you great texture and beauty. Then Astrantia, Bupleurum, Feverfew, grasses that I just foraged outside. Then for the foliages, thinking very, very, very petite. Plumosa, stripped down. So it's just the leaflet with a natural stem. You can also use leather fern, the leaflet, natural stem. And as you prepare your materials, every single leaf needs to be removed and cleaned up. So like this, removing, 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 and then lay it out to work. You begin your bouquet just as you would a classic spiral. Choose something to be in the center, maybe the foraged grasses, maybe a bachelor button bloom. Then, as you continue, everything you put in your hand, you put in at an angle. Always the head going one direction, the stem the other. So if I wanted the bud, just placing it in, then giving it a slight turn, Coming in with Bupleurum, slight turn, little fever few. Tucking it in, slight turn, the bud from the ranuncula, and maybe an Estrancha bud as well. Then a slight turn, back to the fever few. And then since every stem is already clean, it's very easy to make sure that below my fingers is bare, above is the beauty, and then you just keep angling and turning until you have it all in your fingers. As you continue on, think about your balance, where you might want to add something, tucking in, and then adding a little more foliage, maybe some leather form, Turning another leather fern, maybe another bupleurum, and turning, giving it some soft texture with the plumosa. Always the head one direction, stem the other, turning and radiating. Grouping a few things. And then as you get close to finishing, think about where you might want to balance with a little more green or another bloom for perfection. As you finish, double check for any flat spots, maybe something that needs a little more fever few to brighten that area. Turn it, maybe another bupleurum, just to fill in another leaf and turning, thinking about grouping another estrancha. And then your last bit of foliage, and then turning to make sure that it's balanced all the way around. To tie it off, just a small bit of bind wire, pulling it through the center, then wrapping above your fingers, making it nice and snug, making sure that flowers are above and totally bare stems on the bottom. Now you always ask for a recipe. With this, it's really just bits, bits and pieces. I used ranunculus, foraged foliages, bachelor button, feverfew, astrantia, bupleurum, leather fern, and plumosa but just bits of each item, not full stems or bunches of anything. The Tiny Bouquet Challenge 
is such fun. And I have to say a special thank you to Leah and a shout out to Lindy because Flower Shop Barbie, she needs a tiny bouquet. How cool is that? Too much fun. Now as you create yours, remember, needs to be able to stand, needs to be itty bitty. Look at it compared to my hand. Look at it with Barbie. But it is so much fun. For more creative inspiration, check out our website. If you have questions, you can reach us through there at flowerschool.com or by telephone at 503-223-8089. Now I'd love to see what you create. Make a tiny bouquet, hashtag tiny bouquet, and then tag Floral Design Institute. That way we all can see what you do as you do something you love in a very, very tiny scale.